You ready? You ready? Do it. So here is Conor McGregor once again. You know about the physical gifts, but in the past, he has beaten guys mentally before they even make the walk. Very intimidating proposition to fight one Conor McGregor, and this one's underway. Heavy kick downstairs. All right, nice takedown secured on the first attempt, no less, by the BJJ fighter here. And gotta be discouraging for the kickboxer to not be able to provide anything resembling resistance on that first attempt. It, oh, how good was the timing on that ankle crack? Nice punch there by McGregor. No feeling out process, folks. Here we go. Edge of your seat action right out of the shoot. These dudes are trading very early in this fight. This is good. Enemy. Oh, you gotta like that as a two-time United States Olympian as he goes to the ankle pit to get the takedown. I mean, it speaks to the wrestling acumen. Just the ability to find any takedown available. What a beautiful ankle pit. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Right on the button. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Probably my favorite takedown. He got him with the ankle pick. I mean, an ankle pick. He hit an ankle pick. You don't see it very often. Just like Kel Sanders used to do to me all the time. Beautiful ankle pick. Oh, McGregor's eye starting to swell now. Unable to land with that punch. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damage. Huge connection by him there. McGregor's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Now lands a kick to the body. Round two is next. Heading back to the corner now, and however deliberately, oh, McGregor's eye has never looked worse, candidly. The cut man's gonna get in there and hopefully put some end swell on that, or that eye's gonna swell shut, DC. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, and he caught the kick. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Oh, he hurt the game, bro. Back to his feet. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Circling to his right. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, so it has been punches and strikes in bunches tonight. His opponent is wearing it. And when you see swelling like that, maybe a facial fracture or something. Well, it seems as though something's 
hurt badly. The last time I saw somebody get this one, I remember watching. All right, breaking the action here. No surprise to see it. The ref is going to get the doctor to look at that eye that is nearly shut at this point. Yeah, it's swollen bad, but he seems to still want to be out there. Well, this is a good sign. The doctor talking to the referee, and the fight will continue, at least for now. Yeah, this is a good decision. I mean, swelling can be superficial. He seems like he wants to compete. Let's go. Round two is underway. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling and slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, nice. Oh, McGregor's eye is almost swollen shut. It's actually swollen shut at this point in time. They might potentially stop this fight if he has vision issues from here. Oh, nice inside trip there. Oh, that was nice. Conor McGregor gets back up again. Nicely done. Less than two minutes now to go in round two. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. His head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ndanu. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Body shot. Under a minute to go round two. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get it out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now. But his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. In the can. All right, the fighters head back to the stools, and certainly it's a tale of two corners. One man can barely see out of one of his eyes, and if the doctor sees that visual, he might call an end to the action. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Dan blocks the shot there. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, he hurt. Oh, that's big. That's real bad. Big shot on the feet. Back to the feet. Oh, big left. The ball will do it. Holy smokes. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Here once more, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 54 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Elia El Matador Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after?